Well, the Zurn County teacher facing corruption of minors charges may likely not stand trial now for those alleged crimes. That's the latest in the case that 2822 News first told you about late last year. 34 year old Sarah Kester, a now suspended teacher in the Wyoming Area School District, was arrested last December. 2822 News was the only television news team there when she came to court to face those charges. I team reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us now live in Wilkesbury with a story you will only see on 2822 News. Andy? Well, good evening, Candace and Nick. Sarah Kester was supposed to have a preliminary hearing today in Central Court, but she waived that hearing and the charges here to Luzerne County Court. Now, normally, that would mean a potential trial, but attorney Peter Moses tells me she's going to apply for a probationary type program. Sarah Kester walks into Luzerne County Central Court Tuesday morning. She is facing three counts of corruption of minors and one count of attempted corruption of minors. According to a criminal complaint filed last December, Kester allegedly purchased and or offered three students marijuana gummy bears, vodka, and nicotine vapes. All of this while she was a teacher in the Wyoming Area School District. Detectives say a social worker for the district contacted police in September. This after students told that worker about the alleged crimes. According to the criminal arrest affidavit, Kester allegedly texted the students, Oh, so no one knows I talked to you guys? Then Kester allegedly instructed the students, Just delete all of our messages off your phones in case you get called in. Kester waived the charges onto Luzerne County Court. We intend to apply for the ARD program and that's what our next step is, but other than that, I don't want to discuss that too much. ARD is short for Accelerated Rehabilitation Disposition, a probationary type program where Kester would not stand trial, but could be ordered by the court to take certain actions, such as community service, and to stay out of future legal problems. Ms. Kester, do you want to say anything about the case or anything to your students or the parents in the district? But attorney Moses says his client may speak about the case in the future. I believe at some point Sarah is going to have an opportunity to address the court and the victims in the case. And when that time comes, I believe she'll make an appropriate statement. But uh, obviously, as defense lawyers, we tell our clients not to make any statements until that time. People in the Wyoming Area School District are talking about the case. I mean, that the ARD is good for some people. But as a teacher, I mean, she is should be at a higher standard. She should be at more accountable. Now, Kester was suspended without pay by the school district at the time of her arrest, but the school district solicitor, Jared Ferrantino, tells this reporter the school board is expected to file, make a motion tonight at the school board meeting at 7 o'clock to terminate her from her teaching position. Now, you can see all of our reports on this investigation involving Kester on our website, pahomepage.com. Reporting live at the Luzerne County Courthouse in Wilkesbury, Andy Mahalshik, back to you guys. Andy, thank you.